the Orlando Magic and the Detroit Pistons are set to face off in an NBA matchup on Saturday. The Magic, with a record of 31-25, have been performing well recently, winning 7 of their last 10 games. They are currently trailing the Indiana Pacers by half a game for 6th place in the Eastern Conference standings. In their recent game against the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Magic forced 19 turnovers en route to a 116-109 road victory. Moritz Wagner had an impressive performance off the bench for Orlando, scoring 22 points on 7-12 shooting from the field and grabbing 7 rebounds in just 25 minutes of play. Franz Wagner contributed 14 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists, while all-star forward Paolo Banchero added 12 points. The Magic shot 14 for 25 from beyond the arc in the game. On the other hand, the Detroit Pistons have struggled this season, owning the worst overall record in the NBA at 8-47. They have dropped 23 of their first 27 home games and ranked 28th in the league in defensive efficiency, giving up an average of 122.1 points per game. In their recent game against the Indiana Pacers, the Pistons allowed their opponents to shoot 53% from the field and trailed by as many as 31 points in a 129-115 road loss. Despite the Pistons' struggles, Cade Cunningham had a standout performance, scoring a game-high 30 points on 13-21 shooting and dishing out 8 assists. Jalen Dern also had a solid game, contributing 15 points and 13 rebounds. However, the Pistons struggled from the free-throw line, missing half of their 18 attempts. Orlando's Markel Fultz remained sidelined with a knee injury. The Magic, coming off a strong road victory, may be at risk of being flat in this game, while the Pistons have shown signs of improvement. The prediction is that the Magic will win a close game, with a final score of 114 to 112. The Boston Celtics will face off against the New York Knicks in a Saturday night NBA showdown at Madison Square Garden, also known as the world's most famous arena. The Celtics, boasting a stellar record of 44 to 12, are currently on a seven-game winning streak and hold the best overall record in the NBA. In their recent game against the Chicago Bulls, Boston dominated the third quarter, outscoring their opponents by 16 points en route to a 129 to 112 road victory. Derek White led the Celtics in scoring with 28 points on 9-14 shooting, adding 5 assists. Jason Tatum contributed 25 points, 7 rebounds, and 5 assists, while Jalen Brown added 21 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists. On the other side, the New York Knicks have won 19 of their first 27 home games and are currently one game behind the Milwaukee Bucks for third place in the Eastern Conference standings. The Knicks, with a record of 34-22, rank 9th in the league in defensive efficiency, holding opponents to just under 110 points per game. In their recent game against the Philadelphia 76ers, the Knicks took an early 11-point lead and went on to secure a comfortable 110-96 road victory. Boyan Bogdanovich, newly acquired by the Knicks, had an outstanding performance, hitting all six of his three-point attempts and leading the team with 22 points. All-star guard Jalen Brunson contributed 22 points and 12 assists, while Josh Hart added 18 points and 12 rebounds as the Knicks out-rebounded the 76ers 45-38. However, the Knicks are dealing with injuries to key starters Julius Randle, shoulder, OG Anunoby, elbow, and Mitchell Robinson, ankle, with no set timetable for their return. The Celtics rank third in the league in defensive efficiency, while the Knicks play at a slower pace. The prediction is a low-scoring game, with the Celtics emerging victorious with a final score of 111-105. In Saturday night's NBA action, the Brooklyn Nets will face off against the Minnesota Timberwolves at the Target Center. The Nets, with a record of 21-34, are currently on a three-game losing streak and are three games behind the Atlanta Hawks for the tenth spot in the Eastern Conference standings. In their recent game against the Toronto Raptors, Brooklyn suffered a 121-93 road loss in head coach Kevin Ollie's debut. Mikal Bridges led the Nets in scoring with 21 points on 7-16 shooting, while Cam Thomas contributed 19 points on 8-16 shooting. However, the rest of the Brooklyn starting lineup managed just 11 points, and the team struggled from beyond the arc, missing 26 of their 37 three-point attempts. On the other side, the Minnesota Timberwolves have won 19 of their first 25 home games and are currently tied with the Oklahoma City Thunder for the top spot in the Western Conference. The Timberwolves, with a record of 39-17, lead the league in defensive efficiency, allowing just 106.7 points per game. In their recent game against the Milwaukee Bucks, Minnesota suffered a 112-107 home loss after being outscored by 23 points in the third quarter. Anthony Edwards led the Timberwolves with 28 points on 10-26 shooting, adding 9 rebounds and 5 assists. Carl Anthony Towns contributed 22 points and 14 rebounds, while Rudy Gobert added 12 points and 19 rebounds. Both teams are coming into this matchup without any significant injuries. The Nets made a coaching change, relieving Jacques Vaughn of his duties due to a perceived lack of effort from the team. While Brooklyn did not show much improvement in their last game, they are expected to put up a more spirited effort in this matchup. The prediction is that the Timberwolves will win a close game, with a final score of 110-107.